All right, we're gonna look at a series that looks kind of geometric, and we're gonna ask ourselves, for what real numbers x does this thing converge? And in fact, this is an application of geometric series. So if we take a glance at this series, we see that we have three, a constant, times powers of x plus one. And the powers start at n minus one, where n goes from one to infinity. So that means that we have x plus one to the zero, x plus one to the first, x plus one to the second, which means we've got a real live, well, sort of live, geometric series staring us in the face here. And our a value is three, our r value is x plus one. Now luckily, we know a lot about geometric series. We know that they converge as long as this radius is less than one, an absolute value, and if the radius in absolute value is greater than or equal to one, this thing diverges. So we've got our radius r. In order for this sequence to con or series to converge, we need the absolute value of x plus one to be less than one. Now if we unravel these absolute values, this means that x plus one is stuck between negative one and positive one. So we can add, or sorry, we can subtract one from each part of this inequality, and we find that negative two is less than x, and x is less than zero. That tells us that our series converges, and in fact, it converges to three over x. And let me fix this typo here. This isn't a sequence. I mean, my series converges to three over x, as long as x is in the interval negative two to zero. And it can't include those endpoints because if it did, x plus one would be equal to one in absolute value, and that's bad news for us because that would make our sequence, our series, divergent.